The nonprofit Gun Violence Archive has been compiling data on mass shootings, and they found there have been more mass shootings than the number of days so far this year. Many people are responding to this latest tragedy, including Governor Larry Hogan. WJZ is live. Mike Shu continues our team coverage. Mike. Good morning. Leaders around the country are trying to make sense of and respond to what has happened. In Maryland, the governor offers condolences. Less than 24 hours after his tweet about the 20 victims killed in El Paso, Governor Hogan had to react about another nine shot dead in Dayton, Ohio. The governor tweets, another great American community forced to grieve after an unspeakable act of violence. We must stand united in our belief that no amount of fear can divide us. A nonprofit called Gun Violence Archive defines mass shootings as where at least four people have been shot. The organization says that there have been at least 250 mass shootings so far this year, far outpacing the number of days so far in 2019. Just last weekend, three were shot dead at the Garlic Festival in Gilroy, California. Another 15 injured. Earlier this week, two were killed at a Walmart in Mississippi. And back in May, 12 were shot dead in a Virginia Beach government building. The gunman was a former employee. Now, this weekend, nearly 30 people killed in two separate cities, 1,500 miles apart. Flags have been lowered to half staff, and the country is coming to terms with a sobering reality. Back now live, just a few moments ago, a sergeant with the Department of General Services uh, raised the Maryland and the American flag, and as soon as he was done, he saluted and went back inside. This will be happening across the state today. I'm Mike Shue reporting live downtown for WJZ. Stay with WJZ both on air and online as we follow the investigation into these two tragedies happening just 13 hours apart.